in the mitochondria, as it's producing ATP, the energy that the cell uses, it does produce negative byproducts. Like a plant will produce smoke, your car will produce an exhaust. Mm -hmm. These are not good. In the mitochondria, the way it's managed is with glutathione and melatonin. Okay. Right? Regularly, different mitochondria are going to get depleted of those glutathione and melatonin. Mm -hmm. What happens then is those reactive oxygen species typically go out and do re oxidative damage. Right? Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah. that's the problem. That's the thing that you're trying to solve. Imagine Bourbon Street, right? It's into Mardi Gras. Yep. You're on Bourbon Street. Drunk reactive oxygen species are tearing up cars and pulling. Beads are going everywhere. Beads it's are right. everywhere. <laughs> Slipping and falling. The police, the glutathione and melatonin, they come in and they handcuff themselves to those reactive oxygen species and get them off of Bourbon Street. When the police are overwhelmed, what do they do? They throw it in a paddy wagon. So the reactive oxygen species goes on to the paddy wagon, up to six of them. Uh -huh. So now they can can't do damage while the police are off too busy and when the police return the glutathione and the melatonin they can again handcuff themselves to those reactive oxygen species yeah. and get them out of the body oh wow okay i like that analogy isn't it good yeah, yeah. that's why this molecule is the boss it's the one and only buffering oxidative stress system in the mitochondria. Oh my god. 